Wow, we're getting pretty close to the same level as my no badge run. A quick question for you guys before we can before we start this next part. Um, sometime in the future, after this is done, you want me to replay this game without using badges? So, uh, say it so in the comments if you want that. In the meantime, we'll go back to our main file. And here I say, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario, people. Last time we defeated Huff and Puff and rescued the sixth star spirit. We've got one more to go, folks. And now, back at back at Peach, we got this, in the last interlude, we got the stinky parasol. In order to use it, you just press B. That easy. Now, a fair warning to all of you, if there's if if um you still have Peach holding some items, this is the last chance you'll get to put those items in the um, in the magical chest. If not, or if you miss, well, then you pretty much fail at 100%. Now sneak up slowly, the B button, and there you go. Now you're a Koopa Troll. Well, you're really Peach in disguise, but yeah, you're a Koopa Troll now. Well, let me just... You know, I sell that jam and jelly, so let's, let's put that thing in the chest. goes. I think that's the last item Peach can get. Uh, since we are now in disguise, we can pretty much freely look around and not have to worry about sp about spotlights. I think. Eh, still a couple light men wandering around. By the way, you can also freely talk to these guys too, I believe. I don't think anything happens. They just talk to you friendly. And they never question why you, why you have a little star floating behind you. Oh, and I'd say there they put everything away after the game was done. Um, if you ever want to return to your last state, you know, back to Peach, you gotta press the B button again. But right now, I don't recommend it. Oh, and enough wasting time. Let's go. And what you gotta do is go all the way to the top. Apparently that's where Bowser and his minions are at the moment. This thing kinda looks familiar, doesn't it? Of course it does, it's from the first part. Now let's talk to this Koopa Troll. He's wondering why that club is not here on his shift. Now we got a castle key. Apparently that that guy at the door wants us to find whoever's supposed to replace him for the next shift. But if you all remember the clubbas, you should remember that those guys like to sleep in. And I do mean sleep. We'll just mosey on down to the entrance. Use the key to unlock the door. And it's a sleepy head. Try to talk to him, he'll just go back to sleep. What you gotta do is change to Peach. Use sneaky personal again, and now you're a clubber. Ain't that nifty. You could try to escape, but apparently that door is locked. You can't. So now we're a club, and now we gotta go back to the top. I'll see you guys there. Uh, one last thing. If you're watching this now, then I... Uh, scratch that first part. Um, the time I'm recording this right now, I've just uploaded part 40. So, since this LP is going rather quick for me at the moment, I figured I may as well finish it up. Collect all, collect all the remaining items, uh, clear the game, blah 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 blah, and yeah, that's that. So at the moment, Sonic Unleashed is at a, is at a long hiatus until Paper Mario is over, and when Paper Mario is over, I will finish Sonic Unleashed. And then when Sonic Unleashed is done, then we will go on to the next part, or the next LP. 
And by the time I get close to the finale of Sonic Unleashed, then I'll make the video um, saying which games you guys want to see next. But apparently some people did not pay attention from my updates and already said which games they want to see. Like it was like the vote was there. Uh, some people just don't know when to pay attention, do they? And we gotta go through here. Oh, it's Cammy. Something's going on up there. Final preparations in case Mario does get all seven st star spirits. Apparently she thinks the clubba is doing a fine job, but I don't know something a bit different. It smells too nice. Yike! Well, so much for that. I guess this is the problem with some princesses. They like to use too much makeup or something, I don't know. I don't know how the female species works. No offense to you females. Now we get Cleavar. I forget what his ability is. I think it's called Timeout. Which really looks, works like a stopwatch. Let's see. Uh, yep, Timeout. I was right. Well, that's six down, one to go. Now first, um, I, during the editing of the last few parts, I noticed I missed a few items, so... Let's go see if we can retrieve them. Now I think one of them is supposed to be here. Interruptions, interruptions. Oh, come on. Beware of stormy weather. It can kill you. Especially if you have 7 HP or less. Umbrellas not included. Now that they're out of the way, uh, let me turn the pages of my guidebook for a second. Let's see if this works. Middle, uh, right, left. Up. Oh. That's how it works all right. The happy flower badge. Or our second happy flower badge. Let's go retrieve the other missing items. Enter montage, please. Okay, that's better. Now let's get back to Toe Town. And I hope I was right about Ken C. Koopa still being where he is. Otherwise, I think I might have screwed up my own LP. Colorado's still there, and that's a good sign. Okay. Heal. Because I used up star power and flower points. Alright. Actually, we'll save and, and put Kenzie Koopa in the next part. 
So I might screw up here and I don't want to get those items again later. So next time we will take on Kenzie Koopa. Most likely. So yeah. Sorry for making you go through a boring filler part. So until the next time, YouTubers, I'll see you later.